Hello YouTube and Assalamu Alaikum to all my viewers out there. I'm back with my second video on YouTube. If you haven't watched my first video, which was basically a channel intro or you could say a channel trailer, the link will be down in the description bar so you guys can go check that out if you want to know about me and why I decided to start YouTubing. So I know that many makeup artists, Pakistani makeup artists and people abroad have already tried BB by Amna products and reviews we also came up now and I know I'm pretty late but better late than never. I was very hesitant that should I invest in BB by Amna or not but it's but it's like a very controversial brand. Coffee look and make sure we some really liked it, some didn't like it and I was like maybe I should give this a go and uh, a few I saw that they had discount on their website, 70% off. So I was like, what better time to invest? It's a safe option. If I don't it, it will be a safe for me. This is what the package looks like. I honestly really liked it. But this is a really good packaging. I really like this bubble wrap, which is in gold. And it says BB by Amla right here. It's super customized. So let's open the parcel. Honestly, so excited to open this package. I've wanted to upgrade my equipment since forever. Literally, um, I ordered the deal number six, which includes a beauty blender, a 30ml perfect primer, a regular brush set, or charcoal cleansing wipes. Charcoal cleansing wipes are not so much, but I really, really, really wanted a good primer for a very long time. And I also wanted a new beauty blender. This is my real techniques ka wo orange wala jo hota hai wo tha so what i have here is their foundation blender which looks like this then i have the charcoal cleansing wipes other than that i have the beautify by amna ka perfect primer this this actually looks really tiny in person but the actually bahut chota hai mujhe laga tha kafi bada hoga picture mein kafi bada lag raha hai and the plastic used on it has a lot of scratches on it. And then I ordered the regular brush set, which comes with it. The packaging honestly looks really nice because I like all cool glitter. But this is hot hand. I mean, it's very glitter. I swear to God. Because as far as I know, this packaging should be really good. For it's for those who ordered this like separately, I think it's for four thousand five hundred, and it's like this. So we'll just like open this. Oh, dump me. So this is what the regular brushes look like. They come in the box like this. In, there are 10 pieces. In this brush set, we have one that we This is called BB by Amna Foundation Brush. This is their foundation brush, which looks like this. The packaging is nice. Brushes ki packaging, I like. It's very secure. And then we have the blush brush, which looks like this. And then we have their highlighter brush. It's a highlighter brush. But this is a contour brush. Like, really, this is something that you, you know, get in your contour with. Your cream contour or your regular contour. But it says that it's a highlighter brush. So I don't really get this, if you can see. Then we have this, which is called... This is a bronzer brush. I don't get this. Basically, this is a highlighter brush. Because this is a tapered brush, which is not top Okay, This is supposed to be a highlighting brush because it's a tapered brush. But khair, it's makeup so you guys can do whatever you guys feel like. This is just my personal review and this is what mostly I've seen makeup artists doing. That they use tapered brushes for either under eye setting or for highlighter. And they use this sort of brush for contouring. Then we're left with... Okay, so there are four face brushes and there are six eye brushes just my a kamar pass yahan par spoolie hai which looks like this i have a spoolie right here then we have an eyeliner brush which is packed really nicely right here and then we have a 
eyeshadow blending brush which looks really nice to me but oh my god did you guys see that did the camera get that then there's the eyebrow brush which is angle right? yes smudge brush okay definitely yes it's a smudge brush it's like this. there is their small blending brush i guess it's a crease blending brush because it's more precise gets right in the crease basically when i have brushes the khadi and the original prices i'll let you know for those who are planning to invest in the regular brushes by beautify by amna these are for 4500 originally without any sale price so if you're planning to buy them in the future i would recommend don't buy them you get it any price limit mein aapko bh cosmetics ke bahut achhe brushes mil sakte hain aapko jessup Cosmetics ke bahut achhe brushes mil sakte hain. Honestly, for 4,500, these brushes are not worth it. They're not that bad, but they're not worth their price. Jahan the primer ki baat hai, primer ki packaging bhi bahut average hai. Uh, the Beauty Blender looks good. And we will review all of these products right now. So let's get into the reviewing part. So we're going to start off with the Porefade Primer which I will put in my region where I have a lot of pores and I'm going to blend it out using the foundation brush by Beautify by Amna which I'll put in my region There is no scent on it I'm not really catching any sort of scent but I'm just going to take this little bit and I will apply this right in my area where I know I have a lot of pores and I'll just but it did fill up some of my pores that I have right here it's silicone based so which is a good thing for oily skin is your foundation is better it really just melted into my skin which is really nice and if you guys want like an in-depth review on the primer and how long can you wear this and how long lasting it is i'll do a separate video on that so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for that. next up i'm going to be using my garnier bb cream and i'm going to blend it using the beautified by amnaka beauty blend I feel like it soaked up most of my product. It didn't really blend, which is really weird. So I'm going to go in with the second application using the foundation brush and let's see if that works out. I'd say that the brush did a better job than the beauty blender but who said that that's because i did like a second layer but we will see in the future what progress this beauty blender makes with me i'm going to use my uh, makeup revolution ka chocolate weiss palette and i will take this orange shade right here and i'll just use this on bb by um like an eyeshadow blending brush and i'm just going to blend this in my crease So far, it did a really good job. I am in love with this blending brush. It is so good. You can see that it blended my eyeshadow so well and picked up the product pretty well. Next, I'm just going to take this dark pink shade on the crease brush and I'm going to put this right in my crease. Next up is spread a smudge brush ko use karte vehi. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put this all on my lid. I'm going to mix these two. I'm just going to use their eyebrow brush and pick this darkest brown shade and draw a wing right on my eye. use makeup revolution ka contour kit this is the pro hd contour kit and i'm going to be taking this so-called highlighter brush to contour my face i'll just take this and mix all three
is my NYX Ka Apricot Blush on their blush brush and I'm going to just put this on the apples of my cheek. This brush is not really picking up the product. It's very product. Look at that. It's barely picking up the product. I'm just going to use their bronzing brush, which is basically a tapered brush for highlighting. Oh my god, I'm absolutely in love with this brush. It is so darn good. So basically, I have light and normal makeup just so that I can show you the demonstration of the brushes and I could show you how they really work. Are they really good or not? This is not something that I would go out with. I didn't conceal, I didn't bake, I didn't do that whole thing that I do. Even if you don't like this look, I'm sorry. And if you like it, great. So, where is my review? But this this beauty blender turned out to be really really soft and it was really nice and squishy but it seemed to soak up most of my product but the blend is very soak up okay so I'm not really a big fan of this um, I prefer the foundation brush that I got in the set much much better than this so these are all the brushes that I tried right and in my subset I a highlighter brush pasanaya blush brush I didn't like a lot because eyeshadow brushes are bomb the brushes are good the packaging wasn't really that good because the glitter is out but brushes are average still not worth 4500 but they're good they I mean if they're 2000 then I would say they're good brushes and this is the regular set uh, as for the primer I like the primer so far it's silicone based it's not that greasy it's not tacky it's not oily it's a very primer hai. It filled, I had a lot of and it actually did fill out my pores which were right here. Here are my pores hota hai usually, they disappeared. Okay? So I'm happy that the primer turned out to be really good. Packaging is average, not that good, not that fancy. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting an in-depth review on this. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below whatever you want to say, whatever you want Feel free to do that and I'll definitely try to engage back. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and share this video if you can. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, Allah Fiz.